A change this year for one Orlando family so meant long. reintroducing screen time. One show a day. For their nearly six and eight year old boys. We've always felt it was just easier not to have the screen time than try to transition away from it. Lauren Siren and Travis Sossaman found using the single show as a reward for homework worked wonders. It was pretty amazing. Like we found, you know, a pretty direct correlation between less screen time and better behavior. And they rarely, if ever, let the boys play video games. Games are, you know, they suck you in. According to one mental health professional, they do more than that. It rewires the reward circuitry in the brain to make kids think it's more fun to play than it is to interact with people and go play outside. Jim West, president and owner of Total Life Counseling, says the World Health Organization's designation of gaming disorder was a step in highlighting just how addictive they can be. I have some kids, parents, that will bribe their, them to go to their favorite restaurant and they still won't leave. They'll just say, bring me something to go. Bring me a to-go bag, a doggy bag or something. They're not even going out to play and they're disengaging from sports. Their grades are dropping. They're not wanting to do their homework. That is a drastic case, but nothing's out of reach for parents in curbing video game and screen use. Some of it is based on modeled behavior. In other words, how you conduct yourself in front of your kids. So when you're trying to talk to your kids like this, you're not modeling for them that you're, you're like, your attention's divided, right? And then you're making it look like, okay, this is more important. And then they want your phone. The small screen that can lead to bigger problems. I think that one of the things that we've really seen happen is that with this near infinite connectivity, we are actually losing our connectedness with each other in the deep and meaningful and protective ways that humans are connected in families and communities. Dr. Michael Rich heads up the Center on Media and Child Health at Boston Children's Hospital at Harvard Medical School. For years, they've researched the ways young minds get molded by media. He thinks the WHO classification both goes too far and not far enough. We think that their description falls short compared to what we're actually seeing on the ground. Um, it falls short because it's not just gaming, it's also social media, pornography, and what we're calling information binging, which is the endless autoplay videos back to back to back. Dr. Rich thinks parents need to keep checking on their kids' online lives and not panic. I think that really comes down to the parents recognizing it as not just a, a problem, but a problem that can be solved. And frankly, um, the earlier you get to it, the easier it is to, to redirect. That's the simple message from Lauren and Travis, too. It wasn't easy to avert the little eyes from the screens, but once they did, their boys found a better way to play. And that's always been the hope, is that they find other things to entertain themselves, and in a fast-paced world, they don't need some external stimuli to, you know, constantly be entertaining them. And as you heard there, the experts I spoke with say this can be solved. Some tips for you. Remember the phone or a tablet? It's like a power tool. It's not like you're going to give a drill to a four-year-old without teaching them how to use it. So you need to be mindful of what they're doing and what you're doing. You need to set boundaries and then stick to them. Also really here, don't panic. Your child's play with the video games could be just that. They're fun, but you also shouldn't just dismiss it and maybe seek help if they start to disengage from their real lives. And the American Academy of Pediatrics says kids six to nine should only get two and a half hours of player socialization and 30 minutes of max, max screen time. So just think about that. That's two and a half hours maybe you're playing, you're yeah. doing something with your brothers and sisters, your siblings to get a max of 30 minutes in the day. And it's weird because you, you think about all the screens that all of us adults Correct. are dealing with mm -hmm. and you then start to look at these things that we're telling a four-year-old or a mm -hmm. six-year-old. It's like, wow, I'm doing the same exact Correct. Thing. It starts with us. Yeah, we've got to model that. If we want them to put it down, we do too. <laughs>